Hello and welcome once again to the Johnny Come Lately's podcast, episode 6 I think. Uh, my name is Monadrew and the other dude is... Cambrian, hello. Hello, hello. So, how are things? It has been a few weeks since the last broadcast. I think they're fine. We are now, I think, second week into October, so they've gotten much better for me. Mm. Uh, it's the best season. How about yourself? Uh, it definitely feels like it's the second week of October because I'm kind of uh, cosplaying a Sill from Vengeance of Varos, and by that I mean like I've got my legs wrapped up in a bloody throw to the point where it looks oh. like I have like a tail. <laughs> Is it that cold there? I'm boiling. It, it's a bit chilly in my place, but again, like I fucking live in a place which doesn't have central heating. Oh, I see. Damn. Oh no, we've. Um, I mean, today. I, I... Whoa. Hello. Hello, that got weirdly cut out so all of a sudden. I don't know why, I'm sorry dude. Yeah, no, I bought my first pumpkins of the season. Oh, nice. Um, and made my first ever pumpkin pie, which I've just finished eating. How was oh, it? Yeah, it was, it was lovely, but it was very sweet. I mean, I must have eaten quite a bit of it so far already. Mm. Oh, dear. I've definitely, definitely put on a lot of weight lately. <laughs> I've, um, I'm definitely less healthier than I was not too long ago. Um, I've been taking up the exercise again and been jogging on in the evenings a bit more, but that's partly just because my fucking bicycle's broke, so... Oh, I see. Oh, no. Fun. Oh, have you done uh, anything halloween related, though? Not too much yet. I've been kind of thinking about costumes... One of them, of course, I was thinking about getting a Nazi suit and doing the Red Skull, but I don't know if that's pushing it maybe too far. <laughs> yeah, mate, it might. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll be sure not to have the Swatsikers. I'll, I'll stitch you over with Hydra, but still. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing. To be honest with you, I'm pretty sure you can't buy even German Nazi uniforms with you Swatsikers. You can, on. you can't buy them with Swatsikers, but you can buy them in that style. Yeah. Um, and to be honest with you, it would be quite an accurate Red Skull costume because, you know, he did have swastikas. Yeah. Um, and was a German. Well, and a Nazi. <laughs> I was thinking Red Skull uh, partly just because I'm pretty much full time bald now, so. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> you decided to stop fighting it. Uh, yeah, it got to that point where, like, every time I cut my hair, like, look in the mirror as it's growing back, and there's just more and more patches of, like, wasteland. Oh. Up there, like where where hair just is not coming back, it's just not coming back as thick. So, I've decided to do, uh, just just no longer fight. I'm just going to commit to it. Yeah, that well, looks fine too, as far as I've seen. Uh, I've been told I, I look okay as it. It's just I'd rather I'd rather have my beautiful blonde hair as I had in my youth, but it's <laughs> alas, it's not meant to be. Oh, we're getting old. Hmm. I did. Uh, I did briefly look up some of like the uh, the supposed cures for baldness, and there's like there was like one treatment which is apparently really effective, but among its side effects is um, behavioral sleep issues, anxiety, low sex drive. I don't need all that shit. I'll just I'll just stick yeah. with the baldness. I would just go bald. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If nothing else, it makes a red skull costume easier. I just need to find a way to tape back my ears. I think that would look awesome as well, like, done right. I think the nose might be difficult as well. Well, you could either paint it. I know it's not great, but you can paint, like, skull noses. But I was also looking at some of the, you know, the prosthetics just to, like, add to the cheeks. So the yeah. cheeks are raised and the nose, the nose is essentially taken out. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I know, I like that. So maybe. I'll I'll see what I'm like for money. <laughs> yeah. Well, I spent 60 quid on a an authentic Michael Myers mask, so... It's a very cool mask. It's really good. It, oh, I'm so happy with it. Like, no buyer's remorse at all. <laughs> yeah, Halloween season, though. I'm looking forward to it. Though I oh, don't yeah. actually really have any plans as of yet. No, I never do, but everyone knows I like Halloween, that I end up getting to, like, going somewhere anyway. Mm-hmm. Which is quite cool. All I'm saying is I, I don't want to buy a Nazi suit to not use it. Just... Well, this is it. You've got to... Well, just judging <laughs> judging by the last show, I suppose I could always go to a retro TV convention, and that was some show last time. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed it. Uh, mm. I do like the new format. I say new; it's it's been this way for a couple of shows now. But um, I think you've nailed it. And what the topics? To... Yeah. Oh well, I just mean the visuals, the the way it's presented now. I think. Oh no, no. 
I, I, I do like the visuals. They're a pain in the ass to edit, but that's usually why we're at least a week behind in, like, new stories, because it, I suppose I could rush it, but I only get my weekends off, so I don't want to spend the entire time on the computer, because yeah. I spend my workday entirely at the computer, so... <laughs> Uh, I mean, if, if anyone wants to give some feedback to the new show for, for this fine chap, you know, just so we know that you like it or if you preferred the old style. Yep, all 21 of you. <laughs> I, I think 21's awesome, man. It's better than, like, 10, which I had on my other channel, which is gone. Yeah, I, I think it's, like, no matter no matter how many there are, I think it's pretty badass that there's, you know, fans out there willing to listen. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you guys are awesome. I tell you what, the last show, weirdly enough, had a fair size of views. Actually, it wasn't the last one. It was the uh, one before that. I don't know if it's just because, like, a half-naked Ryan Reynolds was, like, center on the image, but... Oh, my hubby. Ah, uh, yes. We shall discuss him later. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm sure he's thrilled to be a uh, topic on this show. Mm. <laughs> get, if he knew. Get those restraining orders ready. For any luck. Mm. So, uh, yes, actually, on the subject of uh, channels and channels disappearing, this is a, kind of a local story to us as well. Um, Chronicle Live, uh, Northeast, uh, comic Robin Armstrong loses his 915,000 followers after Facebook deletes his page. Oh, why? Pages that are hateful, threatening, or obscene or not allowed. And we also take down uh, any page that attacks individuals or groups. Unless, you know, it's like white people or Donald Trump or yeah, someone who's popular to hate. But I don't, honestly, I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> I'm a little scared and aroused. There you go, that's it. I've got you, like, on a portable speaker to kind of get the best sound quality. It's actually very close to the microphone. In fact, it's resting on my shoulder like a parrot. <laughs> and um, it was kind of starting to slip there, so I've grabbed it, but I've also like pressed the button to channel surf. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, local comedian. I honestly don't know too much about him because, to be honest, I don't follow that many comedians these days. But um, yeah. apparently, one of his sticks is to basically shame people who bully. Right. And by pointing out people and making fun of people who are trolling and bullying others. He himself has been reported as a bully and has now been removed. Uh, wow, so a do-gooder who is actually trying to do the good everybody wants people to do mm -hmm. has been blamed for the, the shit that he's actually fighting against. Yeah, and this is also one of the really scary things. You know how like a lot of people have now have YouTube as a career? Yeah. Like, do you know what? I honestly, I don't really care if we did somehow get insanely successful to the point where we're earning money. I probably still wouldn't choose YouTube as a career. No. For reasons like this, because for instance, he he chose this as a career. He got so many views and so much, like, ad traffic from, like, his yeah. Facebook page that he was able to leave his job and he was, a, a sense, living on it. And just, like, in a fucking blink of an eye, it's gone. Yeah, so his revenue's all gone, his fan base... I imagine his fan base might come back, but he would have mm -hmm. to set up a new channel. Well, he's made a, he's made a new page. I'll just repeat his name. It's uh, Robin Armstrong, comic comedian. Um, again, I don't really follow him, but sort of as a sign of good faith, I have like um, I've decided to follow his page just to see what it's up to because this this is just fucking bullshit. Yeah, it is. It's really stupid. And again, uh, you know, you can you can get removed for like s silly things or accusations, but. Um, if you happen to be posting death threats about Donald Trump or anyone else who's, like, popular to hate, that that will just slide. Yeah, I know. Like, the fact that he's doing what people actually want you to do in terms of be a do-gooder, be morally yeah. good, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous that even that they're willing to turn on themselves. Mm -hmm. I was, like um... Modern-day feminist. <laughs> Oh God! Um, <laughs> I'm not going to open that can, but I might funny. might open it a little bit. But it's just because I've recently started following uh, Christina Hoff Suffers on Twitter, and I've uh, uh, I purchased one of her more famous books. Who's she's like a famous second wave feminist who's yeah. very critical of modern feminism, as she should Good. be because it's complete shite. But boy, does she get a lot of hate off you know woke people, quote unquote. <laughs> funny enough, I think the subtitle of her book, uh, "Who Stole Feminism," is "How Women Betrayed Women." So. 
I've ordered a copy of that. I'm actually looking forward to it arriving. It's supposed to be very good. I might honestly get Milo's uh, book. Uh, dangerous. Yeah, I think Dangerous might be quite a good read. It's on my wish list, and it's my birthday coming up and not too long, so I'm, someone may get it for me. I might have to get you that, because I don't know if many other people will uh, have the balls to, sadly. Very liberal-leaning family. They're not that I bad. Would, I would have as well, but I think things have changed so drastically lately. Oh, God. <sighs> I used to be a lot more liberal than I kind of feel. Honestly, I, I I don't really know. I know I've changed a little bit, but I don't think I've changed that much. I think just fucking what's considered left and right has just shifted so fucking much in the last decade. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, the left is so oppressing now. Like, it's our oppressive, if you were to oh, it, that. We're, we're, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> Are we good? <laughs> if not, if not in this one, the next one. Oh, um, I can't remember if it was last episode or the episode before. We did uh, mention something about the guy who stole the shark. I remember sort of wondering, like, whatever happened with that and what was going to happen. Like, were they going to eat it or something? Which would have been awful, but very likely. Yeah. Uh, turns out the guy has been caught and the shark is in safe hands. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm glad. So uh, I'm just going to bring... What was their intention, do you I'm know? just going to bring this up, actually. Um, but... My uh, computer's running wonderfully slow. I really need a new one. I'm considering switching from a laptop to an actual like media desktop when I've got the money. Yeah, that that'd be awesome. It'll help with uh, with the future pro- projects. Pretty much, and although I've got a laptop, which you know its key features, it's portable. I'd never take it anywhere anyway. Yeah, it just stays yeah. in the house. Yeah, a uh, man accused of stealing shark from aquarium arrested in a separate theft case. Oh my god. Now this isn't that new where this was. This new story is from like fucking August the 10th. Oh really? 2018 uh, in my San Antonio, but uh, I thought we'd just give an update of the case. What was his intention though, would you? Right, the man who made national headlines for the bizarre alleged theft of a shark. I, I wouldn't necessarily say alleged if it was on camera. Anthony Sinclair Shannon, 38, is charged with another theft less than of less than $2,500. And he had two prior convictions. Um, so yeah, he's, he stole something else. Stole some pots and pans, which I was hoping wasn't for the shark. Honestly, it doesn't really seem to go too much into it. Um... He stole the grey horn shark named Miss Helen. The shark was fortunately recovered, which is good, and I believe is recovering well. Honestly, though, this does not say, like, why he stole it. I think he was a, a former employee of the aquarium. So do you think he was going to ransom it? I don't know, or if he was, like, I don't know, maybe, like, selling it to sort of an illegal collector or something like that, but... Yeah. Uh, honestly, I probably should have uh, researched this enough, but I've got so many stories on here, but... <laughs> the point is, the jerk's been caught and the shark is safe. Yeah, no, that's good. Which is good because I like sharks. Well, to be honest, I don't think any animal should suffer because a human is an asshole. So, like, I'm glad the shark's okay. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold, so I might be sniffing a bit. It's uh, okay, I've just got an awful headache. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you were saying you've been suffering a couple of days now in a, in a row. A few days, yeah. It's a bit less now, so I don't know if something at work setting me off. Like, maybe it's the lighting or... Yeah. Not oh, mad. No, no, that is, that is really good news, though, about the shark. And it's nice that... Uh, some positives on the show mm. for a change. Personally, I think this story is kind of a positive as well, and probably the most current thing I've ever commented on. I consider it positive. The guy who bought it didn't. Um, did you see the, um, the fucking art auction with uh, the Banksy painting? Oh, <laughs> Which well, got it shredded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I heard about it. It was set to fucking shred by remote once it was sold. That was amazing. <laughs> Why? Like, I, I didn't know anything about it. Like, I don't know. I mean, it, it's it'll be for like. Joke, or... Yeah, it'll be for like a pretentious art reason. But I can I I just found it kind of funny because. <laughs> As much as I kind of respect art, and I know a lot of artists, um, I don't have like that much respect for the ultra rich, pretentious art world. No, neither do I. So, um, well, the, there was this famous case, if I'm not mistaken, that you may know it better than I do. But there was this guy uh, put his glasses on the floor of an art, uh, like a ballroom where art was being presented and stuff, mm-hmm. and he was staring at it, and he, st- he stood there and stared at it for ten minutes until he realised there was a whole crowd behind him. <laughs> so then he calmly picked up his glasses and then walked out. But he was doing it to like show that people who 
enjoy art, quote unquote, are just pretentious. Like, yeah. They were reading meaning into his pair of glasses on the floor because he was staring at it. And that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, p- people are kind of free to like what they like, but I don't know. It that, it just tickles me that that happened. <laughs> no, the worst thing about that community is they make you feel stupid for not getting it. And it's like, I get it perfectly fine. You're just reading nothing into it. <laughs> That's the worst thing about any fucking community, whether it's like art or fandoms. Fandoms especially because it's kind of more ridiculous in some way. Like, you don't like Supernatural because you just don't get it. And it's like, I get it perfectly fine. I just don't like the show. I do like the show. It's just, that was an example. Mm-hmm. Especially because their fandoms are quite weird. <laughs> oh, especially when you get in the... the great this depths of tumblr and you find things like super hulock and super hulock who are now notorious which is quite nice even amongst uh, the tumblr fan base oh so. yeah yeah speaking of uh, famous retards i remember i was brought up a while ago about um the chris chan documentary series you've actually watched all that now yeah i've actually seen it all yeah yeah finally finally got it all i kind of hope he does more yeah has your life been enriched a little bit. I now know not what to do. Ever. <laughs> what, or what, yeah, or what not to do, as it were, sorry. Um, what a ridiculous human. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Christ. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. He's very annoying. Um, I think it, it's like how he's gotten this far and not had his face smashed in, like, for a start. Just to get that one in there. Well, not that... He's not being arrested. Not to get too dark, but I'm sure when his mother dies and he's left to fend for himself, he's going to... He's probably going to end up, like, in a home or not homeless, and he's going to say something wrong to the wrong person, and he's going to get murdered. Get shaved or something, yeah. He he just doesn't know how to act in the the real world anymore. No, that's kind of sad. He's also a victim to an extent. Um, he's just also a horrible human being as well. Uh, no offence to them, because they're still alive, and, well, one of them is, um, Borb. Uh, Borb. I blame those. One half um, of Borb. Yeah, I blame the Bob part of, uh, Borb. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, if we're, like, talking about something we're familiar with, I'd feel the need to explain, but most people know who Chris Chan is, and if not, it's very fucking easy to find out who he is. Yeah, if you're on YouTube, you've probably heard of so him. He... Although, my girlfriend hadn't. Wow, that's shocking. Yeah, no, I was actually incredibly surprised by that. Like, someone who has a much broader online presence than I do. Is is her life also enriched now? No, I didn't I didn't even explain it. I just, I would say, oh, he's just some idiot online. Uh, I, I think she could probably do without that. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Not just, not just idiot, like, he's, you know, he's been kind of delusional in the past, not just about people liking him or how great he is, but... It's virgin, I've, I've mentioned this on a previous show, like he's talked about the other dimension which he believes exists. Oh god, yeah, no, what's that all about? Well, I've been fucking surfing Twitter again recently. Uh, this I just saw last night, this is from the 27th of September, so it wasn't that long ago. He had a really long stream, which I'll, I'll try and get through as quick as possible, but um, here it goes. <laughs> As everyone is well aware by now, I'm very well connected to our sister dimension in that most of us, I'm not going to do the voice, in this world here share and work together in our respective real estates, to use that term metaphorically, as our shares of the earth and universe in C197 ranges from one single individual to a household to a sizable nation and so forth. And I have two nations and a species, Sonichus and Rosichus that I am literally a half-breed of myself. Not to mention that I have also been promoted to CPU goddess. It is very pleasing on me. (laughs) In a lot of days, while my powers continue to further develop and progress, I need to take care of myself too. I could go on, but uh, this thing, yeah. this thing, like ran for about uh, ten different Twitter posts because you've only you've got like a character limit. So let's let's just say for a while. Uh, I'm good for a while. Then I feel I need to crash for five hours. My brain and better mentality is everywhere. Sure, it is. Ugh. He's an odd human. Like I, I just don't get him. I don't want to get him. <laughs> Still, I try and get time to work on the books for this world and other drawings, but I need to be in the right mood and energy to be able to better function on all of that. It is difficult on me while I have the responsibility of my hefty shares on Earth in our C-197 dimension. So, um, yeah, 
he can't fulfill his creative obligations or his creative life or get a job or anything useful in this world because he's um his uh, delusional ultra other dimension that he visits takes up too much of his time. Ah, uh, well, there you go. You see, he's he's obviously uh, you know, just too good for the world. Hmm. Um, I don't. I really don't like the kid. Like normally, I've got some sort of sympathy. I don't ever. But. Fuck me. I mean, let's let's not talk about other potential worlds. Let's bring it more down to real life. Um, were you also fascinated by the fact that he drinks his semen mixed with Fanta? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. What is it? He's um, he's re re it's recycling. It and did you also know you can buy a Chris Chan autographed Fanta orange can for two twenty nine ninety nine US dollars? Oh, uh, there's online store which is pristine, Christine, nineteen eighty two. Christ. Uh, I did not know that. I do now. Uh, yay. I mean, you've surely you've got enough spare money for such a priceless cultural artifact, something which he's probably jizzed in. Has he, um, right, yeah, so I imagine it's an empty fan that can, he's signing. It does not say. It is autographed, though. He thinks he's a massive celebrity. I mean, he sort of is, but... Oh, he, um, when he was at that fucking brony con not too long ago... He, yeah, yeah. he also relayed a story on Twitter about a window washer, like washing the windows, and he actually said to him, like, you know, feel happy because you've, you know, you've helped a celebrity the day, like, uh, yeah, full on fucking delusional, like, in any sense of the word. Because Sonic choose uh, like, this big fucking thing. Yeah, in the world he's, he's, he's in the net famous because Sonic choose was such an amazing creation, it's not because he's a fucking retard who people poke for fun. I can't even do that anymore. I just don't like him. Not that I'm promoting bullying, but <sighs> I am. There's, there's, there's cases <laughs> where, like his, where it's a bit more complex than one side being mean. It's like there's no good guy in his story. No, he's awful. Like awful people pick on him, but he's also a fucking awful person. So I, I blame it. I honestly feel sorry for his dad, who died. Who died? Yeah, like I, I honestly, because he, he tried. And he, he even got subjected to some of the, uh, the well, the, the trolls and that, though, didn't he? Like, they, they met up with him and started talking to him and that. Yeah, though, um, a lot of the trolls actually think, you should, uh, thought kind of better of him than, um, obviously, Chris. It's Obviously, he had some influence on the shitty upbringing. I mean, it was mostly seems to have been his mother, who's probably about to pop her clogs at any second. And, yeah. uh, I've got no sympathy for him at all. Like, I, I honestly, I just... I can only wish him a comfortable grave. Um, Do you know what? This, 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 this is going to sound like the ultimate bullying, but I honestly kind of... I almost feel... I, I almost want to say this in a nice way, a bit like some people troll him for, like, almost honourable purposes. I want him to go to one of these cons, do something stupid, and get punched in the fucking face. No, I honestly, I, I think there's some... Because you, you, you need to, you know, you need to be told fucking no. Yeah. Look, actually, he's he's being told no so much it obviously doesn't help. So maybe a fucking physical consequence will. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, it, like it, it's not worked the way it's been for so long. We might as well try something else. Like, mm. oh no, um, I think he's awful. Speaking of awful, this is not in any way going to be a cheery topic, but I I kind of feel the need to bring it up because it's not that well reported. Have you heard of like the Burmese genocide that's going on recently? Uh, not much. No. Um, where it's like uh, sort of the Islamic minority are basically being fucking murdered and persecuted by the majority, and the government's just kind of ignoring it. Which I government every, every government. Well, or... Burma. Like, the Burmese yeah. government, considering, like, the fucking leader of that government, like, once got a Nobel Peace Prize for her work, but... Oh, I see. <laughs> it's, a, it's a majority Buddhist country as well. Now, people seem to have this really fucking stupid idea that, like, there's no wrong with Buddhism, that, like, unlike other religions, they're very peaceful. They're, they're not in any way different from any other fucking awful religion on the planet. Well, yeah, it's an organized religion, isn't it? They've got, you know, they've got... You know, they the do the do sort of promote peace more than, like, violence, say, but they also have their sex scandals, they've got their in scandals in their institution, how they've used funds, and, like, in the case of this, fucking violence. Well, look at Christianity, though, like, that promotes peace and love and all shit. It's not peaceful or loving at all, though. Oh, no. <clears throat> not in any way at all. 
again, I don't have a great deal to say about this. It's just it's something that's talked about so little. I kind of feel like I had to bring it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's fair enough. I, I know a little, very little about it, and that's probably because it's not being talked about, as it were. Yeah, and I, I, I personally, I kind of, I, I hate pretty much religion in general. It's not. It's not yeah. something I'm a fan of, and I don't care if you're, like, Christian, Muslim, or Buddhist. I think you're fucking wrong, and I think religion is verging on mental illness at this point. It's dangerous, um, is what it is. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't actually find that many sources about it, at least not many that I could access, because, weirdly, a lot, a lot of the new sources, because I'm in the UK, I couldn't access, like, a lot of the abroad ones. I didn't actually realise that was a thing, which is kind of scary, because now, now I'm wondering about the media being censored. Mm. But uh, on, uh, on, on like... Pu- sorry, yeah? Oh, oh, sorry, didn't Medica go on about that? Coming very soon, and this is a few months ago, uh, British internet was actually going to be heavily monitored and censored? Uh, yes, indeed, and to be honest, uh, that kind of what led me down that path a while ago where I started researching uh, the free speech rights of the UK. Yeah. Only to discover that depressingly, the UK actually doesn't have a guaranteed like declaration of free speech. So they, they could just do that at any time. They can, li- yeah. There, there's absolutely no legal recourse for um if the government just wanted to shut you down. They don't have to. They don't have to give a reason beyond it being um offensive or I believe the really the nebulous term was like morally problematic, mm. which is super abusable. And it got to the point where they're. There are people who have like made petitions which haven't succeeded, but um, the ah, yeah. oh, I, I I've probably mentioned this on a show before, but like the reply from the government was um, well, you have freedom of speech to a degree, but we can't promote hate speech like the kind you're speaking of. It's like probably criticism is hate speech. Yeah, because you can't disagree with anyone anymore. It's similar. It's similar to what I was um talking about last week, like uh, when my own posts were being censored, like. Yeah. Fair enough. Like one of the groups I was re- I was quoting, have been like accused of a lot of like far right shit, which yeah. they have. But problem is, a lot of them also kind of have a point uh, when it does come to hate speech laws. Like I think the current hate speech needs to be reversed. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because as soon as you something's declared hate speech, it's just immediately taken out the equation. Like, and it's such a fucking nebulous term. It can apply to anything. Well, exactly. Yeah, um, you. I could literally. You could take something so pedestrian and mm-hmm. take offence to it, and have no reason for why you've taken offence to it. You just have. I remember actually speaking to someone about that. Like, I made a joke, and they were like, "Oh, you shouldn't be saying that." And I went, "Well, why?" It's really. It was quite a tame joke. I can't remember what it was. I was like, "I didn't offend anyone," and he was like, "Oh, you offended me." I went, "Okay, then you should probably grow a funny bone." Yeah. <laughs> it really wasn't supposed to offend anybody it was like well it has and it's like well leave (laughs) i don't know what what do you want me to do (laughs) christ (laughs) it is uh, what what should have just been a bit of a laugh is now awkward because you've got no sense of fucking humor god (laughs) just grow a fucking thicker skin like i'm sorry but in life you're gonna come across people who disagree with you yeah well that's it and you know what i've come across that every day of my life i don't get it's fine that's what makes life interesting. That's great. God, if I if I if I could treat the world the way I want to treat it, I'd I'd be fired because I'd be telling like every like third person who calls up at work that they're a fucking moron because they can't remember the password that they themselves had fucking set. Yeah. Well, that's it. Like, but no, no, that that would be uh, I don't know, too free. You know, it's a free society as long as you agree with the. Um... I don't even know where to go. Oh, no, it's... Some it's... you agree with the lowest common denominator. I know, if you're free to say what you want, so long as you fucking agree with, like, the moral majority, the established, which these... Well, he was going on saying you can't decide whether or not I'm offended, and it's like, well, I can decide that you being offended is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> which I can, because in as much as you being offended seems to be now your opinion... Yeah, and you, my opinion you, of you being offended. And you can't police what I say. Go you fuck can. yourself. What you can do is leave. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it, it, it's... Do they not know how, like, how the world works? There's an outside you can piss off. Like... It's a cliche, but I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Yeah, well, exactly. Um, I was talking about, about like, upbringing of children and that, because Halloween's coming up, and when I was one, mm-hmm. my parents, even before then, used to put on the movie Halloween for me. Excellent. Now, obviously, it's an 18-rated movie. 
but I was one. And they used to put it on because the soundtrack, the the colours and the Halloween aesthetic was very appealing. It was my favourite movie, still is now. Mm-hmm. But I was talking to someone about bringing up your children with something like that, and I was like, well, you're not allowed to do that. And I was like, well, you are allowed to do that for a start, so shut up. But why is it wrong? And the, the, they just kept saying, like, they'll grow up thinking that that sort of thing, but sorry, worried that that sort of thing's real or that sort of thing. I was like, well, I didn't. In fact, I'm so desensitized by it that I'm more than sorry. It... Walk down the dark alley. Is that yeah. um? Is that in the same sense that uh, every adult also believes in the Easter Bunny and Santa? Yeah, well, exactly. Oh, because unless you're fun unless fun you're Chris Chan, who actually did believe in fucking Santa until his late twenties. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. But that, I, I never honestly understood that. Like, don't show that to children because you're going to warp them. You're going to scare them. That's what those movies are for. I'm sorry that it is to scare you, but the moment that becomes an issue, it also becomes reality. So why not at an early age promote that this is not real, which is what my parents did. Every time, my dad especially would always put something on. We had a VHS because that's how old I am. Mm-hmm. He would show me where the stop button was and says, if you don't like it, hit that button, it'll go away. And that was when I was like five, unless he was watching it with me. So he's, then, he's, yeah. a, he's establishing, establishing early on that it's not real, it's just fiction. Exactly. To be honest with you, even before the likes of Mystery Science Theater used to come out, me and my dad used to watch horror films at a very young age and make fun of them. <laughs> that was his way. Yeah, that was his way of making sure I knew it wasn't real and it was kind of funny. That's what I was doing. Um, that's what I was doing last night because I was staying over at my uh, folks' place because they were away, but my sister was still there, and we were yeah. just we were watching horrors like through the night and we were watching Annabelle creation. And we were just making snarky comments throughout the entire thing. Oh, uh, I mean, again, I'm, I'm not arguing the point that some children can't handle that, and that's fine. But let's say I had children, I would want them to watch anything they wanted. You know, uh, you know, within reason. I'm not going to make them watch. Something I mean, I'd, human I'd say I'd, I'd say it's kind of up to the parents. Yeah, if they can't handle it, then yeah, stop it. But yeah, that's the same as anything. If they can't handle too much sugar without smashing their face off a wall or something, then stop that as well. You know what I mean? Like, why everyone else feels the need to tell you how you should live your life? I don't get it. It's like, well, I think you're wrong. You should, you know, let your vegan child do what he wants instead of telling him he's a vegan. <laughs> oh, you know. But they do that, though. You know what I mean? Like, that's a thing that that is happening right now. There's a lot of children out there who are forced to be vegetarian, forced to be vegan. You know, that's great if that's their choice. Mm. <laughs> you know? and, you've... and that's just a different example. Come on, sorry. I knew someone who was uh, raised vegan, and um, curiously, they were very hefty. It must have just been, like, a lot of carbs that they ate. Okay. Uh, fully vegan. <laughs> it re- it reminds me of like a really old story. Uh, I might try and find this. I'm not going to bring it up now because it's not that relevant. But um, the woman who like made her post online was like, "Oh look, look how much my dog is excited for dinner. His lovely vegan dinner." And it's like the dog looks fucking ill. Oh. Because you. Because you know like what? You need to feed fucking carnivores meat. You. Yeah. Fucking cunt. No, I, I really think that that's morally wrong and naturally wrong as well. That's horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, the dog would never choose that. The dog wouldn't want that, so don't do it. <laughs> that's horrible. I can't remember exactly where we're going on this. I think it was yeah. I was basically just talking about the uh, the genocide of the in Burma of like the uh, the Islamic minority. Again, I'm not fucking for or against any religion. Actually, no, I'm just generally against all religions. So as far as I'm concerned, they're all equal. But yeah, it's it's strange how certain things just don't get reported on, and I think it's actually I think it's kind of related to what we're saying. I think it's the fucking accepted narrative. Like in this case, uh, this this country, this le- this leader of this country is you know a Nobel Peace Prize winner, and you know it's a mainly Buddhist country. Surely it must all be fucking roses and hippie bullshit, and <laughs> because it isn't, um, I just, people aren't really paying attention. So that's fun. Um. For a uh, close at the home fun, uh, <laughs> well, I say closer at home. It's Western world, but it is still across the pond. Did you see the uh, the wonderful protest video um, outside the abortion clinic recently? That's been making some rounds. Great audio, but I'm I'm gonna have to send you this video because it's only like forty seven seconds long, but uh, it's it's been making its rounds in the last few days, and it's pretty current. So uh, I think you should see it. Just a second. Mm-hmm. 
So, you know, disagreed with him, uh, disagreed with him, and then... Ba Violence, yeah, basically the um, who's turned out to be like the self -prof the self professed fe feminist male feminist um, feels like roundhouse kicking a woman is acceptable because you know she happens to be pro life. Yeah, exactly. Christ, <laughs> I mean personally, I uh... I I'm I'm pro choice, so I'm not I'm not on their side, but. I, I'm also not on anyone's side who roundhouse kicks. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that to anyone. I mean. That's the Jesus. That's fine. That's great. Jesus Christ. But again, you know, I, I don't think he was intentionally trying to attack her. Apparently he's supposed to kick the phone, which isn't actually that much better because he's still destroying someone's fucking property. He still had that intent. The leftist, feminist, people in the right, they're kind of entitled to do shit like that. Yeah, yeah, because they've got the moral high ground. So mm. Oh, except he has uh, since been fired and severely shamed by the internet, which is good. Kind of in the same way of that uh, famous Antifa protester who got knocked out by the unarmed oh, man. He's um, he's now, like, medically brain damaged, and you know what? I don't give a fuck. He kind of had it coming. No, I completely agree with that one. He was just uh, an awful, awful human. And... Who, you know, was attacking <laughs> unarmed people with actual weapons. Because they have the moral high ground, they're apparently allowed to do stupid shit like this, and no one else is. What's that? Yeah, what's that rationale for that? Is that I can do this because I'm defending your rights? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that really it? Oh, wow, gotcha. So, uh, anyway, that story boiled, boiled down as um, feminist man kicks woman. For, oh, protect it, for, for protecting the woman's right to choose. Oh, God, dude. Protecting the woman's right to be kicked. Oh, <sighs> That's bizarre. Like, it's really bizarre. Like, oh, dear, no. I don't even know. I, I kind of... I've been watching a lot more of that uh, Ben Shapiro and um, Milo Yiannopoulos. Oh, yes, yeah. And it really does. It kind of, it, it really gets on my, my wick a little bit. Just some of the snowflakes that they get to speak to. Do you know, there's... They've got such a non-argument. There's one thing in particular I will, I've always disagreed on with Milo about, and it's, um, it is actually this, it's pro-life, an abortion. But he's, I agree with him on most other points, and... Just because I agree with them, disagree with them on that, I don't like feel justified yeah. in like banning him, or silencing him, or attacking him, or threatening him. Well, that's what he, his whole point is as well: is that you have freedom to disagree as well. Uh, it, it, I think Ben Shapiro is exactly the same about the abortion thing as well. Like, mm -hmm. I, I do actually agree with them on a lot of things. I know Ben Shapiro is um, deeply religious as well, if I'm not mistaken. Prop, yeah, I think he is. Or, he, um, or he, he's at least, like, culturally that way. Yeah, but I, I do, uh, I agree with him on most of the things, and again, that's the the whole point, is that, yeah, if he disagrees with you, he's telling you his side of things. Disagree with him, give him the facts. And, you know, since politics apparently has to be injected with everything, my God, the shitstorm on Twitter last night with the, uh, the Kavanga thing. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the new guy in the Supreme Court. To be honest, I'm a bit ignorant on this as well, um, because I'm not an American, so it doesn't right, really affect me that much. But um, from what I was getting from people, he was like an admitted... From what I heard from a lot of, like, screaming libtards, was yeah. that um, he's like a, he's like a definite convicted rapist, he's threatening people, and he's silencing people, and, you know, he's definitely done these things, and now he's been appointed to the Supreme Court, and it's just wrong, we need to stop it. When I actually took, like, fucking five minutes to look it up, um, he didn't definitely do these things. These are accusations from fucking decades ago. There is currently no investigation into this. Which usually suggests that they're not true. Oh, well, do you know what? I'm not even going to say that. It might well be. I mean, well be, the, 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 F the FBI has looked into a little bit. I mean, if there's something there, then by all means, start an investigation now. But without any proof... People are like trying to derail the entire process. Yeah, and it's very. It just gets in the way. It's very politically motivated. Like, yeah, I don't know how many of them are actually concerned about the fact that there may have been abuse of some women, or just because it's another conservative. Yeah, because he's one of Trump's fellows, isn't it? Yeah, which again, do you know what? If it turns out he has done wrong, and it's actually investigated and proven, fine. Um, fucking remove him from office, put him to jail. I don't care. 
like anybody else. Yeah, kill him. Uh, what what side of the political fence is on? But you know, if you're ignorant of this, like I kind of was, I am. you would think from what people were saying, he was like he was advocating like beating up women and you know setting children on fire, and he was bragging about raping people. None of that. Right. As said, it was. It, it's not even. It was at best an accusation. All right. No, I, I literally know nothing about it. Um, I, I knew no, no of it. Like I've heard the, the trial going on and stuff. But that's the thing. It wasn't a fucking trial. It was an investigation. I thought it was a trial that was going on. The way people that's were talking. It wasn't a trial. It was simply his appointment to the court. Oh, it was the controversy surrounding that. He wasn't on trial. It's it's complete horseshit. It's ridiculous. Even like. No, I'm 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 completely alien to it all. I know nothing. Like God. Again, I don't. But to be honest, I don't really want to get that involved. It's not because you know maybe it offends my sensibilities or whatever. Partly, it's not really our business because it's in the states for one. Yeah. And two, I'm sorry, but do you know when there's like serious allegations? Now this is a whole topic for another day, which we'll probably bring up. Things like rape, I feel they kind of need evidence. Yeah, don't trust someone with that because that sticks, man. Like if he if he turns out that he's innocent completely. Like a lot of the no, pe- a lot of the people were having the Me Too and uh, believe women hashtags. There are the do you know what false rape allegations are a thing and people have fu- people yeah. have lost their jobs livelihoods and have killed themselves over it. I'm sorry, but like it's the same as if there was a murder. If someone's on trial for murder, I'd want evidence. I want it. Yeah. I want it to be actually investigated. I'm not just gonna fucking take someone's word on it. But you're supposed to, though, for some reason, because it's about... Because feelings trump facts in the modern world. That's the main thing, and that's the most dangerous thing as well. <clears throat> oh, no, I don't like that. Uh, well, we'll look at the whole Craig Charles thing. That one was more domestic abuse, but that sort of thing stick. Oh, shit, um, I actually and he was forgotten yeah, entirely he, about that. He was proven to be innocent, <laughs> but nobody will hire him. He, he's having to redo likes of uh, Red Dwarf and that, the things <laughs> that made him... Popular and famous. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Um, on the other side of the coin, uh, Bill Cosby, who has been investigated yeah. and convicted and is going to jail, has a uh, supporter saying, oh, maybe he shouldn't have that harsher sentence because, you know, he's black. Oh, no, come on, man. No, no, that sort of thing, right? You've proven it. Good. Yeah. Arrest him. <laughs> fine. Fine. Yeah, do you know what? If you if it, if it's been proven and you've been convicted by something, I'm not, like, pro-rapist or anything. You can torture those people to death for all I care. But it's preferable, yeah. Yeah, but you know, the simple accusation, even if it's a fairly convincing one, before I condemn like anyone solidly, I kind of it needs to be investigated. There needs to be like reasonable proof. Yeah, no, that's where the, the whole latter day feminism thing comes in. They're always right, and they're always <laughs> this this special I don't know type of person mm-hmm. because women have been oppressed for so long or something. And it's like, yeah, they have, but. Things are looking better now. <laughs> it's like surely. it's like the list we were looking at—the hundred ways to make women like lives more bearable. Like one of them was believe women, don't check things for yourself. Okay, no. <laughs> let's just all right. I'll just throw out you know factual evidence and just believe whatever some tosser says just because they've got ovaries. Yeah, exactly. It's like all they identify as a female, even if they're not. Yeah. Again, uh, not to offend, uh, offend sorry, and every female. Oh, feminist, sorry, uh, latter day. Um, women can be assholes too, you know. <laughs> like, it's kind of appropriate. Every, every type of person and every type of, you know, what I mean, <sighs> type of person. It's appropriate you're saying latter day because it is very much a cult like mentality. Yeah, I know. It's kind of that's scary. The thing, though, that there's genuine feminism still going on and doing great work because there is inequality in certain areas. What some people are focusing on, and that's all I'm saying. Are the wrong things sometimes? Oh, do you know what? Hey, I'm all for like women's rights and campaigning for the rights of women. Um, yeah. Here's an idea. Why don't you take your um, Me Too and... Okay, not Me Too. That's kind of a separate thing. Why don't you take like your equality banners and um, go to the Middle East. Try that shit there. Because, um, you know, it's so bad in America and the UK. That's just the, the most oxymoronic thing as well about the, the latter day, like I say, feminism, because they will defend to the end the, those sort of, that sort of culture when it is the most damaging. Oh, 
No, no, you, I don't. I don't care. I'm going to say it. You can't criticize uh, Islam because it's like a, it's you know, it's another culture. It doesn't matter that that is an actual patriarchy. <laughs> that that ideology is actually patriarchal and down, like pushes women down, abuses and kills them. It's racist if you say that, though. So you're not allowed to. So instead, you just have to bitch about the Western world where um, things are kind of better than they have ever been. Um, yeah. It's not perfect, but in terms of like fucking social help that is available, the state of society itself, what you're entitled to, what you can get just by being alive in the Western world, has never been better in the entire history of humankind. I know, uh, but you know, you're not allowed to criticize where it's still wrong. Yeah, yeah. For some reason. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost as if you go over there and pull that shit, you might get killed, whereas here you might get it worst ridiculed. Uh, again, uh, as much as uh, we do bitch and moan, it is still the minority that hmm. are going on like this. It's just the fact that it is going on. It's vocal um, as well. Yeah, and to be honest with you, I think the the worst and most damaging part about it is that the media is perpetuating it more than anything. Mm. So, yeah, so the, the minority we're on about are actually quite in power as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's... um. There's nothing really. There's nothing really counterculture about you know calling for like censorship of harmful ideas because that kind of is the establishment now. Mm, no, no, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah, it's like the world just went completely fucking insane. It seemed to happen so quickly as well, though. Like, it's not just me, is it? Like, it's... oh no, no, no. Um, a few years ago, I would have like completely identified with so- certain groups or certain I- ideals. I, I, I just can't now. You know what? I've actually technically probably gotten more moral. My moral covers. Weirdly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily describe myself as moral, but I do have like certain ethical standards, which you know, which I, freedom. I try freedom. to live up to. And do you know what? If that means leather fucking, you know, that me, if that means you know, letting a bigot spew their bullshit, then so be it. I would rather have a world where. Uh, like a racist moron can spout shit than a world where peoples are just silenced for having a different opinion or a disagreement. Yeah, and again, it's it's sort of ruling through fear as well, though, because you're free, you've got fear now of being ostracized for having these opinions mm-hmm. and uh, and actually physically being beaten in some cases, like that poor woman on her phone. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, by, by the by morally the right side. side. Yeah. Like, like I say, the, the the right doesn't do that, and it was so weird growing up. I was left, man. Like, yeah, not anymore. <laughs> I was just slightly right of communism when I was a teen. It's weird, man. Hey, uh, anyway, um, let's let's cheer up a little bit for the uh, last few minutes of the show. <laughs> yeah. We mentioned Ryan earlier. We know that you're definitely going to get pregnant sometime in the next year, I believe. I thought we would try and work out how many childrens you are. How many childrens are you gonna? It sounds like a bad Japanese translation of like an old game. <laughs> Your childrens belong to us. Um, <laughs> how many children you're gonna have based on the kind of brownies you make? Oh, okay. Yeah. Did I have to tell you this was BuzzFeed? I really don't think I did. No. <laughs> so let's find out how many children you and Ryan are gonna have. Um, first, let's pick a base batter. We have. Dark chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate, or matcha. I actually don't know what that is. I, don't know. I might go, um, I like milk chocolate, so I will go milk chocolate. Ooh, milk chocolate brownie base. Nice. Yeah. Now pick something to mix in. You can have a uh, chili, blueberries, caramel, or chocolate chips. Oh, I've got to go with the chocolate chips. Damn, you really like your chocolate. Ironically, not in real life, but when it comes to making them, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Uh, uh, sweet things are just unappealing now. So let's uh, add something else to keep it fun. We have sprinkles, raspberries, cake batter, or cinnamon. Oh, I like cinnamon. I like genuinely like cinnamon as well. So, so the why I I, yeah, I like it in my hot drinks when I can get it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one more thing: banana, popping candy, orange, or Nutella. Oh, it's gotta be the popping candy. The most fun treat you can have. My god, I have not had that in years. No, same. Remember the old Wonka bars? Where you could, like... Oh, they were great. Yeah. God, do you know what? Even as a child, I thought that was weird. It was like, why are we capitalizing on, like, a movie that's 30 years old? 
<laughs> oh, right. Uh, I just went slightly past the quiz there. Here we go. Next question. How do you want it cooked? You can have it gooey, burnt, pretty much raw, or cooked all the way through. Gooey. Mmm. You like it chocolatey and gooey. Yeah. Do you want a topping? You can have uh, either nothing. You can have icing sugar, melted chocolate, or strawberries. Ooh, some kinky strawberries. I'm going to say this is a very ornate fucking brownie. Yeah. All right. And what are you serving it with? Ice cream, more chocolate, whipped cream, or nothing? I'm going to go whipped cream. Very, very central. So, the um, the advanced scientific results are in. You want to know how many children you and Ryan are going to have? I'm almost scared to ask, but go on. You and Ryan are going to have five kids. <laughs> uh, he's carrying them, Jesus. Oh, uh, well, considering you're going to supposed to have them in about a year's time, you better start popping them out. <laughs> he's the bitch, he's the bitch. <laughs> yeah, he's the bitch, whatever. Reynolds is not the bitch. Let's face it. Yeah, true. <laughs> I pretty much have to. Uh, well, that was um, a mix of depressing and humorous, <laughs> at least to me. Uh, that's uh, I'm going to call that like for a show now, partly because you know, time limit and partly because I really need to go to the toilet. Oh, nice. My bladder's about to burst because I've been drinking so much coffee this morning. I've been on the tea, which is nice. No more conversation, I need to go. Right, no. you, you can you can check us on this channel, um, blah blah blah. Also check out uh, Cambrian's channel and Team Magic Scrub for lots of gamey fun. And um, yeah, this has been Johnny Come Lately episode six. I really need to rush off. Uh, I have been Monodrill, and I've been Cambrian. Goodbye. Goodbye. Opening song was taken from Self Deceived by X Takes Rooks, who you can find at X Take Rooks. That is X take rux.bandcamp.com that's their official website you can also find them on youtube twitter and soundcloud once again that is x take rooks other audio taken from various media found at archive.org